Hello all. Uh, this is a follow-up to uh, uh, installing a basic installation of Wine that I did a while back. And uh, somebody asked if I could do a video in about installing World of Warcraft. And I found it uh, fairly straightforward. I, I did visit a, the, the wiki site about installing this in Wine. And I just I found out something interesting. I'll zoom in here. Is... Uh, for Mac OS, you can run this, I guess. Um, maybe it's 32 bit says here, but whatever. Uh, but it's underlying, the Mac OS underlying architecture is Unix, basically, okay? Which is strange because so is Linux in certain ways. But unfortunately, uh, Blizzard never released a client for World of Warcraft to work under Linux. So we have to use Wine. So I thought that was a little interesting. Okay, so let's just get to it. They suggest you do uh, some stuff. I'll put this link in the description, but uh, I'm trying to get this command here. Okay, I'll just copy this. Okay, I'll open up a terminal and I'll just control shift V, paste that in, press enter. And it's got to say direct rendering colon yes. If not, you're going to have to download uh, accelerated uh, video drivers. Uh, so from either from uh, NVIDIA or AMD. Um, and there's various ways you can do go about that. Um, if not, it probably won't work too well. Okay, so installing the wine, different methods. I use the first one. Uh, I went to battle.net dashboard and created an account and downloaded the installer. And it said simply run the installer, follow prompts, and you'll end up with a fully patched, ready to play game. Okay. Uh, it was a little tricky to kind of like, I think you have to use some. Uh, Restraints like patience. <laughs> now, um, right now, if you noticed here, let me zoom in. Well, you can't really see it anyway. But it says, uh, okay, maybe you can. Bl Blizzard background downloader. I guess you would know this anyway if you played uh, World of Warcraft. It's running in the background, which is fine because it needs to be patched. Now, I don't know if this is going to run since. Uh, I've already exited the game. It seems a kind of a game where I have to stop all the wine services and stop all the uh, background downloading or just basically restart the computer and run. And apparently that's what you have to do. So I'll pause this video and I'll be back. Okay, turns out I didn't have to restart. I had to go into uh, system uh, manage uh, system monitor. I went to processes, and there were two that were running. I'm not going to end them. Now. Um, I had to end the process launcher, and for some reason the background it's, it's been, it might come up, but the background downloader I mentioned. Once I stopped those two processes, uh, this came up to say play and I noticed uh, that you have to have a download quite a bit of the the update for me anyway it didn't work before but it's highlighted now to say play so I'll click play and hopefully we'll get this to run okay so we say play starter edition that's all I have and enter world um yeah I thought there was, all, and it doesn't matter. So enter world, and sometimes this takes a while, as you probably know. I don't know. I guess because of the background downloader, but yeah, it's doing more. I guess whatever you're patching, you guys can tell me, okay? If uh, this is normal. But it's uh, it's definitely definitely playable. Um, 
I, I'm using an AMD 6870. Um, it's it's adequate. I mean, the, the video card's pretty good, but I mean, adequate under Ubuntu or Linux. So this shouldn't take too much longer to load. And there we go. It's loaded. And there I am. I just select random character, random whatever realm or whatever you call it. Like I said, I don't know anything about this game. But, out of interest, uh, in the uh, interest of knowledge, I thought I'd give this a try and see what happens. So, here we go. There it is, World of Warcraft. And if, you know what? If you want to impress your friends... You can just press your cube. And you can have your World of Warcraft running in the background with your wallpaper. And impress the heck out of your friends. Okay, so I hope this has been of some help to uh, somebody that wants to play this in uh, Linux. And uh, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, I can try to help, but I won't know anything about World of Warcraft. I can try to help you with the wine part. But basically, be patient. Let that Blizzard download or download enough of the game to be able to start. I know there's probably different menu options and stuff, like I said. I don't know about that stuff. Okay, so anyway, again, always, thank you so much for watching, and, uh, We'll talk to you later and bye for now.